Okay, welcome to another edition of Lion News. Lion News can be found at lionnews00.blogspot.com. Okay, it's December 21st, 2010. And uh, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about uh, kind of a spin-off of a different video that I did here just recently. And that is uh, Lion News Activism Mailing Tips Send Before Weekend or Holiday. Now this is, uh, uh, how about if I just give you a little preview of what the, uh, what the video is about. The Todd County website up right now. And here you can see that this is the, uh, the Board of Commissioners. Okay, and here's the commissioner information for District 1. Got their name and address, and got their phone numbers, got their email address. And we got uh, District 2. District 3, District 4, and District 5, okay? Most of your counties have websites. Most of your counties have all this information on there. It's got the name, address, not usually the phone number, but it's got the, the address on there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to send these people a, an edition of Lion News, and this one affects their county. This one is uh, from June 9th, 2010, issue 4, page 1 of 2. Douglas County Attorney Candidate Chad Larson sent weapon into Todd County Jail, delivered in legal mail. All right? Chad Larson is the Pope County Assistant Attorney. And uh, you can see here's the letter from Chad, where it says that he sends a disc into the jail. Okay? That's considered contraband. Disc equals weapon equals contraband. All right. So, here's the quote from Nemers, which is the best part of the whole thing. I would like to thank Assistant Pope County Attorney Chad Larson for sending me, sending me the weapon, Todd County Sheriff Peter J. Mickelson for giving me the weapon, and Stevens County District Judge Gerald J. Seibel for covering up the existence of the weapon. These political horrors are a threat to your family's safety, aren't they? And, of course, here we have the statute for contraband. All right. So, which... You... All righty. So you can see that uh, that's what was, that is what we sent, or was sent to the uh, commissioners in Todd County. All right. Now, along with that is... Now, what's going to happen? is uh, like you saw in uh, my other video here, if I can get to it, Lion News, Pope County Commissioners informed a weapon sent into Todd County Jail, 12 14, 10, Part 1. Okay? What these guys did is they clammed up. They don't want to talk about it. They, want, they don't want to admit that they know everything about this uh, weapon being sent in there. All right? So, what you do, if you're going to send a mailing, is to say what, like I said, what they're going to want to try to do is deny they have any knowledge of this at all. Okay, ignorance of the law excuses, but ignorance of the fact excuses. All right, that's a precept you find in Black's Law Dictionary. All right, so they know what the law is. Yeah, obviously. All right, it, ignorance of the law excuses no one. Okay, they can't use that excuse. They can only say that they don't know what's going on. All right. But now, if you send them this information, which this is what's handed to the Pope County Commissioners on that day, so they can't say they don't know about it. All right? They've been notified. They have legal notification. All right? So what if you send them something in the mail? All right? You don't have the camera there. You know, you want to send them, let's send these Todd County commissioners. Okay? How, how would you prove that you sent that? Okay? You could see that I mailed it. You know, you could see that, uh, I, you know, I had the, the envelopes, address, and everything like that, and yet had the stamps on them and everything. Okay, well, see, so you know what they're going to say was, yeah. So that's that's nothing but a prop. How would you prove that you mailed it? Okay, well, the easiest thing to do, and the cheapest thing to do, is to use something called a certificate of mailing. Okay, and what you do is you toddle down to the post office, and you get one of these little forms right here. It's form 3817, or you can print them off uh, from the internet.
but you're paying for it anyhow, so you might as well have them printed off. Okay? And what, what's a certificate of mailing? <clears throat> a certificate of mailing, you can prove you sent your letter or package. And this is what the United States Post Office website says on certificate of mailing. Certificate of mailing, you can prove you sent it with certificate of mailing. When you need to verify you sent a letter or a package, purchase a certificate of mailing. A certificate of mailing is a receipt that proves ev that provides evidence of the date your mail was presented to the Postal Service for mailing. It can only be purchased at the time of mailing, and don't lose it. It's the only official record available. All right. Now, is it uh, so? This will stand up in court because the uh, the post office certifies that you mailed your letter on a certain day. And here's the federal rules of civil procedure. Now you're going to go. Oh well, that's not Minnesota rules. Oh, sorry. The federal rules and the Minnesota the Minnesota rules have to com comply with the federal rules. Of civil procedure. Okay, so we're looking at Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, Rule 5, Service and Filing of Pleadings and Other Papers. Okay, so we just title on down here <clears throat> to service, which means how did you give them that letter? Okay, serve an attorney, serving in general. Okay, a paper is served under this rule or a letter by C. Mailing it to the person's last known address, in which event service is complete upon mailing. So, if you have your certificate of mailing, and what they'll do is you put, you'll put your name and address here, you'll put their name and address here, and what the post office will do is put a stamp here, and then postmark it. Okay, proving that you mailed it, and it's going to cost you around a, a, a buck fifteen for this certificate of mailing, which is a lot cheaper in certificate of mailing. Plus, the best part is that the person you're sending to has no idea that you have proof you mailed it. See, if you send them a certifi uh, uh, certified letter, for one thing, you don't. Ha there's no law requiring you to sign for that, cer that, uh, that uh, certified letter. I never sign for certified letters. So if you're stupid, you'll send me a certified letter because you'll get it back. All right? All right, a certificate of mailing there, uh, there's no proof, no evidence on the letter, unless I put it on there that I sent a certificate of mailing, that it was sent certificate of mailing. So, what my favorite thing is to do is to call people up and ask them, did you get this letter? And they're going to give one of three answers. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Or, boy, I don't know. All right? So, any of those three answers is going to work for me. Yes, they did. Well, at least they uh, they admitted they got it, which is the smartest thing to do. Because, say, if um, this this uh, weapon in the Todd County Jail gets investigated, and, and uh, the uh, Todd County commissioners lie about whether they received this information, knowledge of this uh, weapon being sent in there or not, you know, maybe nothing will happen about the uh, the weapon itself. But say like the FBI, they will charge you with lying to the FBI, and it's a, and so they've got you. Now they've got you, all right. So the best thing to do is not lie to the authorities because it's a crime to lie to the authorities, all right. So that's why you don't want to be caught lying to the authorities, okay. Best thing to do is not even lie to them, okay. You don't have to talk to them, but don't lie to them, all right. So now before I get too far. I am not saying that I have a certificate of mailing for this mailing, okay? But I'm not saying that I don't have one either, all right? I want to leave it completely ambiguous, all right? So, now, if someone calls up the county commissioners and asks them if they got it or not, Todd County Commissioners can't watch this video and say, well, geez, he said he had one. So now I know I have to say yes. All right, I I didn't say one way or the other, so now they have no idea what to answer. So if anyone would want to call them up, boy, geez, now they're stuck. Now they're they're going to be stuck to a statement there on video if you happen to be smart enough to video it and catch them in a lie. See, or the truth. Well, either one, you know, either one works for you because they've stuck themselves into a story and now they're they're stuck with it. See. That's the advantage of this. Okay, again, like I said, 
I'm not saying I have sent one or have a search for mailing. I'm not saying I don't have one. All right? That's the beauty of this. See, they don't know. And why would I tell them? See, that's my advantage. See, it forces them to tell the truth, doesn't it? Because they don't know whether they're in trouble or not. Okay. So, now I've shown you that the best thing to do is to get all these people who are, are responsible. Like, say, now, did I send a letter to, to the sheriff here? No, why would I send a letter to the sheriff? See? Because he already knows what's going on. See? I don't need to send him this. He already knows about this. Okay? What I want to do is I want to send it to the other people who he's going to use or possibly use to cover this up. Okay? Best way to find out if they're covering it up is to call them up and ask them if they know about this. And if they play dumb, or they the another, another good thing is they invoke their right to remain silent. If they revoke, invoke their right to remain silent, it tells you they know exactly what's going on, and they don't want to get in trouble. Because, remember, you have the right to remain silent because anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law, which means a civil court of law or a criminal court of law. Okay? So, watch when your elected officials invoke their right to remain silent. It's very, very important to watch that because it tells you a lot of information right there. Okay. So, now everyone knows about a certificate of mailing. Uh, you will catch cops lying, like a sheriff or a police chief or county commissioners or city uh, council members or lawyers, count, you know, county attorneys, city attorneys, you know, because you send this letter and they have no idea that you have proof that you sent it. And they will lie that they didn't get it. Okay? So that's what you want to do. You want to know, th you want to know that you have the proof, but you don't want to tell them that you have the proof. So that's your advantage. And see what you do is you get them on camera and they make some embarrassing confession and then you've got them. See, that's what you want. You want them to make some sort of embarrassing confession. But you have to know what those, those confessions are. If you're not smart enough to do that, then you're just wasting your time. Okay, well, hopefully you learned something from this lesson of Lion News and we'll talk to you later.